You know it. Final bloodlines, baby. Okay, question. Is there any secrets over here? Not there. I need to know if there's secrets. All right. I don't think there's any secrets right there. That's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I just had to know. I just had to know. All right, guys. Well, full full amount of lives for this fight. Let's go. What kind of weapons they give me? They give me a cross. Okay, I like when there's a cross. Crosses are my faves. They also give me holy water if you want it. Uh, I, I'm going to stick with the cross, I think. Here we go. Dracula time, baby. As usual, you got to hit him in the face. Okay, it's, so far the pattern's exactly like Castlevania 1 where you gotta jump over the thing and hit him in the face. Perfect timing. I'm doing it terribly, but that's all it is. Oh, he has a new attack. Okay. Different attack. Never mind. Just gotta get this down. Just gotta get the timing down. What is a man? <laughs> Alright. Definitely just gotta get that timing down. A miserable pile of secrets. Damn it. Jump too early again. I gotta wait till his cape opens. And then jump. No. Still too early. I gotta get the timing down. If you don't get the timing down, you'll never win. Dude, I jumped into him. Stop doing that. Stop doing different attacks. Piece of shit. I guess I could just stay back further. The timing is the same. <clears throat> oh shit. Well, you really gotta make sure you're on the side with more space. <clears throat> it's okay, Castlevania 1 seems, seems like futile at first too. But then, once you get that timing down, it's super easy sauce, so just gotta get that timing down. I love how Dracula like 10 feet tall. I know, right? Fucking giant fuck. Oh, you got a duck. You got a duck. You got a duck. I don't know why I thought I could just stand there. I was way too late on the jump. That's fine. That other attack threw me off because I was trying to get how to learn how to dodge it. I jump, I jump, 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 I was too late. Damn it! I jumped right into him, son of a bitch. Growing pains, y'all. Growing pains. As long as we keep on living, we can kill Dracula as many times. As we fucking need to save some lives. <clears throat> okay. I'm learning. Damn it, I was late on that though. Okay, okay. I mean, that was. I mean, we're getting better. We're getting better, obviously. <clears throat> Just gotta be consistent. Just gotta be consistent. I want at least half health on the first attempt, just so I can see what the hell the second form's even gonna be. I mean, is it just gonna go into beast mode, like Castlevania 1, and then you beat him and then it's over? Is it gonna be a third form because this is a different game? Maybe second form will just be something completely new anyways. We're gonna find out. <clears throat> okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, I jumped too late. Damn it, I jumped too late again. I really thought he was going to do the other attack there. I thought I counted it right. It seems like he, uh, maybe he does it four times or three times and then four times before he does that attack. Like, I thought I had the count. I thought I had the count to Dracula down. Dracula, Dracula, suck my dick, suck my blood. Oh, shit. I wasn't ready for that. I was literally just trying to attack him. <clears throat> I need to get in more of a lockdown focus mode, but I mean, I'm, I got, I think I got the timing down at least. So that's good at least. And then I fucked in. I really thought he was going to do the other one. You fuck. Okay. Well, one more hit. Damn it. I thought that was it. All right. We got to phase two. I'm only like one hit from death though. Ultimate power! Oh, he looks like he did before. He definitely looks like the classic old Dracula of old. You gotta hit him in the face, still. Go, go, go! Fuck. That's fine. I mean, for a first attempt on the second form, that was pretty easy. I wonder if he has a third form, because that doesn't seem very hard. <clears throat> The first form takes way more finesse. <laughs> you really gotta just get all the timings correct and not get hit. And know the two different attacks, of course. Alright. Time to lock in. Here we go. I am at the end, Marl. I'm fighting Dracula, so you know it's almost over. Jumped way too fucking early. Oof, I thought I jumped too early again, but we're good. Okay. Clap them under cheeks. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm going for. I got through that with two hits only. Man, I almost had it with only one hit, too. Oh, he actually backs up. Wow, that's really nice of you, video game. To actually have him back up. Oh, I'm getting getting stomped on. All right, we got through form two. Is that it? No way. Is that it? No way. Did I do it? Did I beat the game? Is that it? Two forms and we're done? We out of here? Are we gone? Are we out? We got the orb. Let's go. Let's fucking go.
Once again, the blood of Belmont has defeated me. Perhaps this, too, is part of my fate. Death to you! The world is not yours to exist in! It is not by my own power that I am resurrected. It is the greed of humanity which calls me back. And thus, by might, I rule. Might becomes the one and only justice in this world. Of all the self-serving claptrap, the same basic faith drives all people to seek, to come together, to move forward. That surely can't be an evil thing. And yet, here I am. Do you not have any desires? Well... It is by your desires that you humans prosper, and it is your faith which has ruled you. Considering that, can you really call me evil? But people cannot be ruled by power alone. The sacred, the honorable, the loved, those things can rule humanity. Something evil will eventually fall to ruin! I see. Perhaps you're right. <laughs> we shall meet again, Blood of Belmont. <laughs> Well, I got. I guess. I guess that's all, folks. And yeah, like Rio just said, if you've played Symphony of the Night and you know where that game starts, it makes sense that it would end this way. <sighs> and that is Castlevania Rondo Blood. I guess we're gonna get some credits so I can actually outro this bitch or what? Oh yeah, that anime outro with the horse riding. Let's go. Anyway, thank you all for the GGs, especially, you know, well, I got a GG from Casual and Morrow. I don't see any other GGs, but thank you. Yeah, that final boss was pretty easy overall. I mean, it has the same Dracula pattern as the first game, and second form was stupid easy. But that kept in theme with the whole game. All the bosses in this game were easy as fuck. I think this was my, might be the easiest, easiest set of bosses any Castlevania has had that I can remember. They were all super easy. The levels is where the difficulty came in to get to get to the bosses with enough health and stuff and all that, enough lives. Those that was the harder part, but the bosses were not hard. But anyway, overall good game. I had fun. It was enjoyable. Obviously frustration, but that's every Castlevania game. Um, I would put it up there with Castlevania 4 in terms of how good it is. I'm just disappointed it doesn't have the uh, you know the directional whipping. That's really the only thing it's lacking to be like the best in my opinion. The directional whipping it just feels so good in Castlevania 4 that it's it's hard to pick one over that when you, never, you just never got that again. It just felt so good. I understand earlier, you know, the complaints or the, you know, the minor the, the minor complaints that it doesn't design the game around the directional whipping in Castlevania 4, but even so, it's still a great game and it could be designed slightly better because of it. But this game, I mean, for a traditional Castlevania style game, really good. Really freaking good. You forgot the boss rush shaft was throwing at you not too long ago. But those bosses, X-Gamer, were not hard. None of those five bosses were hard, is what I'm telling you. Not one of those bosses was hard. Five of them in a row was hard, but not one was hard. That's what I'm trying to tell you. As a boss fight, each boss fight in this game, super easy. Because even the mummy guy, if I only fought the mummy guy and I didn't have to fight three or four other bosses, the mummy guy is easy too. He's just, he was the annoying one with the stupid ass fucking paper everywhere. It pissed me off. And that's all the ending was? I saved the girl and I didn't get no ending with her or nothing? That's pretty lame sauce. I'm pretty sure I beat the game on that save, right? That run, right? Where I had saved the girl? Boo. Whatever. Well, guys, the end of the screen was there. Now we're back to the title screen. So that's it. That's Castlevania Rondo Blood. I hope you enjoyed. We are prepped and ready for Symphony of the Night now, baby. Get hyped. The only Castlevania game I've actually played before, which is Symphony of the Night. Well, before I started doing Let's Plays, I mean, and streams and stuff. So, yeah, look forward to me finally playing one of the the first Metroidvania, Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. It will happen. It's part of this collection that we're playing right here. It'll be a good time. And, yeah, I look forward to it. 
that'll be coming oh, relatively soon, shall we say. It's not next, but relatively soon. <laughs>